So I'm on my way to Hobby Lobby. I want to make one of the newest spring McCall dress patterns. And I was looking on the back of the envelope and it indicated that it calls for a lining. That gave me a reason to get out and go to the store. We can see together what's in store and hopefully I can come out with some lining. I already have the main fabric. I want to use some black ponte knit, so I just now need to find the lining. I have to tell you all this before I forget. I was just listening to the radio and they were saying that if you can show proof that you've received the COVID vaccination, take it to Krispy Kreme Donuts and you will get a free donut. And it said that you can get one for every day that you go there to show the proof. I guess you can get one each time you show proof. So I thought that was so interesting. I go with this one right here it is a single spandex knit and I think this will work just fine so let me show you a closer look at this fabric that I purchased for a lining it's mostly, I think it was 95% polyester. So it has this vertical, what is this? Vert horizontal stretch from left to right, but it seems like from up and down, it's not that stretchy, but I do think that it will be fine for a lining. And then I just picked up some elastic because I didn't have one and a half yards and I was thinking about making some shorts some knit shorts and it called for one and a half yards of elastic so I just got that so I was good I didn't overspend and I stuck to the plan I think I just got lucky because I had this piece of fabric left over from another project that I did and I think it is just enough to get this bodice piece for this dress. So I think I can use this piece and get this to fit here. And then I think I can take this other piece and get it to fit here because it's cut on the fold and then I can use the black pieces for the skirt. So by me using the other pieces for the bodice portion, this will allow me to be able to cut this piece out on the fold because the pattern directions had you cutting it out in two pieces. And now I can get it on the fold just fine. And then this is how the other pieces are 
laid out. So the strap will be black, even though the bodice will be black and white. So there'll be a little contrast there, but hopefully it'll turn out cute. you're cutting a pattern and there's a little bitty circle and then there's a bigger circle and sometimes the directions will make a distinction between the two so what I usually do is when I mark the circles I draw a circle around the big one after I mark it with a pen so I do like a little stick a pen through there and mark it stick a pen through here and mark it and then remove everything and then draw a circle around it so I did the same thing on the back too. That way I'll know which one was the big circle and which one was the little one. So I am on my way to Georgia. I'm excited. So yeah, it's breakfast time. It's early in the morning, a little bit before eight o'clock. Hi, good morning. May I have an apple pie? Oh, really? Okay, that's thank you. Hey, she said it would be a 13 minute wait and I do not have time to wait because my plane is leaving before that time. So I'm stopping off at Starbucks and I don't want anything to drink but I think I'm going to get some almonds which is probably, well not probably, but it is a much better option than apple pie. what time it is it is actually 9 46 i'm trying to figure out what i want to do today let me show you what it looks like outside so i did a little walking around last night and it was cool just seeing the place and people were actually hanging out and at the restaurants and everything. And we stopped at a candy shop and bought some popcorn and some candy. And then of course we sat down and had dinner. My salad was so good, by the way. It was so simple, but it was so good. I always say that I think it's the dressing that makes the salad because if you have a salad and your dressing isn't right, to me, it just throws everything off. But last night my salad was Perfect. So I want to mention that I was able to finish my McCall's dress and I will definitely be sharing that with you in this video. I also wanted to share with you some of the things that I brought with me, some of the sewing mix that I brought along on this trip. So one of them is this shirt dress that I made a while ago. And this is that. So I have that just hanging up. I might throw that on today and then I brought this green two-piece set so that's this and I like this because it has a little drawstring tie on the side and nice comfy pants so yes those are the only sewing mates besides the dress I have the dress hanging up here in the closet too so here's the dress. Let me just share some of the details. So the dress does have gathering on the side, which is nice. And then, of course, it's lined. And then you have straps that you have to put in. 
And then the front of the skirt has like this little split, which I think is pretty nice. And the dress is rated as average. And then there's elastic that goes around under the bodice area. And I actually left the elastic out of the dress. I put it in at first and I didn't care for it. So I ended up taking the elastic out. So for today, I think I'm just gonna, I don't know, <laughs> walk around and I'll take you with me so you can see what Savannah looks like. Savannah, Georgia. All right, I am out here walking around. I haven't eaten yet, so I don't know what I wanna eat. And it started raining a little bit, so I stopped and picked up an umbrella and I'm gonna keep this in my luggage because it rains a lot when I'm traveling and I don't have an umbrella and I'm always like running like, oh, don't get wet. I don't wanna get wet. <sighs> okay, this is so fun out here exploring. Let me show you where I am. <clears throat> this is actually where I was last night. So I kind of want to go to a different street. So yeah, I'm gonna go this way just because I want to see what's on the other side. I'm overdressed because I thought it was gonna be chilly. Last night when I was out, it was so cool at night. So this time I layered up and I overdid it because I am actually burning up. That on top of the fact that I'm walking and running across streets. So I'm working up a sweat over here. So this wind blowing feels really good. There are so many things to see. So many places to eat. Okay, so there's the restaurant where we were last night. Let me see if I can point it out right there in the corner. <clears throat> There's a lot of people over here biking. So that's cool. I'm gonna keep hanging out and taking in the scene. One other stop after I had lunch. I stopped at this cookie shop. I think it's called Beards. I guess that's how you say it. Beards or Birds, but I think Beards. And I picked up some peanuts. It's a cookie shop, famous cookie shop, but they did have these peanuts and they are dill pickle peanuts. So I thought that was interesting because I really like pickles and I never had this before. So I said, okay, I'll give it a try. And the bag is super cute, huh? I like this bag. Okay, so before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. I love sharing things that I learn. So what I learned recently is there is an app where you can rent out private swimming pools. So it's kind of like an Airbnb situation, but on the level of swimming pools. So if you have a private pool, you can rent your pool out by the hour and people can come over and swim in your pool. You can charge them a fee by the hour. And then if you want to take a dip in a private pool or have like some time where you can have a party or something with friends or whatever the case, or one-on-one -on, -one on a date, whatever it may be, you can look up places that will rent out pools by the hour. 
I thought that was so interesting. Oh my goodness. So the name of the app is Swimply. So I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but it's Swimply. And I had the best luck doing searches when I put in the actual city and state because I tried to do state and I got different results. But then when I was more specific and I put in cities, then I got more results. So just in case you're interested, I thought I would pass that along. Swimply.